Hi, um, I'm Sam Radakia, and I'm the co-founder and chief marketing officer of Chronicled. There are various new technologies in blockchain, and as we know, the main use cases for the technology have been particularly in the, the commerce or financial services industry. So we know about tokens, we know ICOs, we know the cryptocurrencies. Um, what's particularly interesting and to look forward to in 2018 and beyond is a, a technology called Zero Knowledge Proofs or ZK Snarks. And what this technology allows you to do on blockchain um, is to share data between parties without revealing the, the contents of that data. So before we were thinking of you know, having global uh, Fortune 100 companies operating on public ledgers and that just wasn't going to happen because the sharing of competitive business intelligence or data um, you know, couldn't be made completely public but still needing it to be transparent. So with zero, zero knowledge proofs or ZK snarks on blockchain, now we're seeing you know, big 10 pharma, pharmaceutical companies willing to, to work together on one common back end um, with the technology. There's a lot of potential for blockchain to be used for social impact, and unfortunately that's not an area that's been commonly discussed, again, with a lot of focus being placed on finance, but some of the, the compelling work that I've seen done can be anything ranging from um, anti-counterfeiting, so tracking pharmaceutical drugs to ensure that counterfeit drugs are not um, you know, distributed in third world countries, um, to impact claims network to um, be able to track the investments of NGOs and nonprofits into areas um, where they are placing their investments, um, to areas of even reimagining our supply chains and seeing them more as demand chains and combining networked 3D printers and blockchain in order to respond to demands of materials or customers or location um, and produce products um, as needed. makes me think of a poet that I studied as an undergraduate in college. Her name was Anne Sexton. And as the closing lines of one of her poems, she says, abundance is scooped from abundance, but abundance remains. When I think about blockchain in the potential in any sort of um, exponential technology that it can be combined with, what we are left with when we can uh, reduce or, or make efficient our processes or give um, people or companies more time is abundance. So I think of what this future is where, you know, a lot of people have fears about saying being replaced by automation, but I see that as a positive thing. And I think of what we can do, um, particularly with, as humans, where time is our most valuable resource. Uh, and if we have more of it and we can give more with it, I, I'm very excited about not just this technology, but all of the technologies that it could combine with to create an abundant future.